Hi everyone and thanks for being with me. Now the news of the day is that Julian Assange has been released in the UK heading back to some obscure island in the middle of the ocean somewhere which is run and controlled by, governed by the United States of course. It, it fascinates me how we find the, the reach of the United States and their imperialism has, is scattered right across the world and uh, particularly they're sending, anyway, they're sending Assange to this particular isolated little island that they run. So they don't have to bring him back, I think, to mainland the US where there might be some objections to the fact that they only charge him with one particular case of espionage or stealing secrets or whatever it might be. Now, I don't know how you, what you think about what Julian Assange did, but, uh, you know... <laughs> It wasn't, it was the fact that he released those uh, documents from Chelsea Manning and uh, that, and the irony is that Chelsea Manning in 2017 uh, had her sentence commuted by, uh, by Obama and uh, that they couldn't, they couldn't see, and that was a 32 year sentence I hasten to add, and they couldn't see their way clear for whatever reason to release Julian or to not charge him and I think the reason for that was that uh, Manning was was a soldier she was working for the United States government and uh, she passed on the information but she didn't release it so for whatever reason the government felt that that was a not as big a deal as what Julian did by publishing the documents that Chelsea Manning gave him. So as a result, here's the poor old bastard that's been persecuted for all these years. Now, part of that persecution has come about uh, because of some allegations of sexual assault while in Sweden, but that case was later dropped. He denied it all the way through, which is his right. It's no longer an issue, and that's the reason why he found himself uh, in... Uh, the, that particular, where was it again? He sought refuge in the Ecuador embassy and he stayed there for quite some time until they long, they longer said to him, sorry, mate, your rent's up and we've got to get rid of you. So on that occasion, he was removed from there by the UK police and was housed for quite some time uh, at the disposal of... Uh, her Majesty's service at the time, later to become His Majesty's service, I hasten to add. But nevertheless, Julian finally has found his freedom and is returning to his right place, Australia. Now, just want to cite a few things that have been said about his uh, release and what it does mean. And uh, I wonder whether in what I'm about to present to you, you notice the contradiction. So... Jamil Jaffa, Executive Director of the Knight First Amendment Institute at Columbia University, which defends press freedom, said that the plea deal averted the worst-case scenario of a full-on prosecution. Quote, But this deal contemplates that Assange will have served five years in prison for activities that journalists engage in every day. End of quote. Now... There's an element of truth in that, I think, because, um, you know, if you're a journalist and you get presented some information which is rather controversial, such as the CIA murdering people and investigating and listening to their own citizens, um, I guess that is kind of newsworthy. And one wonders what one does if you're a journalist now and you receive that sort of information. My guess is you simply get a, an anonymous account on X and you release it and just post it and see what in the hell happens. You're not going to receive any accolades for it, but at least you're not going to go to jail. And uh, so, you know, I don't know what journalists do these days, but um, journalist integrity or the integrity of journalists is under complete, um, you know, when you look at the right-wing journalists and the left-wing journalists and those people that try to be moderate, you kind of wonder you know, what journalist, journalism is supposed to look like and how ethical it is or it isn't. Um, but it goes on to say, uh, Jaffa warned that the outcome could cast a long shadow of the most important kinds of journalism, 
not just in the country, but around the world. And then there is this amazing contrast, I find. Um, and in this particular statement, it goes on to say, Meanwhile, Mike Spence, the former US Vice President, criticised the deal, saying it was a miscarriage of justice. Writing on X, he said, There should be no plea deals to avoid prison for anyone that endangers the security of our military or the national security of the United States, ever. And of course, as you are probably doing right now, you're flashing back a little bit to the little event that happened at Mar-a-Lago uh, a couple of years ago now, where a certain person found that they were harbouring top secret documents in their toilet and in their bedroom and in their desk and just wherever they could kind of scatter the stuff. But when you've got so much of it, it does become a storage problem. So, you know, and that particular dude um, hasn't suffered any consequences at all for any of that. But however, um, Assange, who clearly released secret information, uh, didn't hide from the fact, just released it, let everybody know what actually was happening through the CIA and how what a disgusting group of people they are. He uh, he's been berated for years over that and was threatened to be placed in jail for 175 years, a time limit which I suspect he would not have lived to or outlived. So, but our friend, ex Vice President Pence, seems to think that the stealing of documents is a massive crime and that uh, it's in the interest of national security that these people be charged and convicted and incarcerated, but they should never, ever be let off. Now, if the Trump case does eventually come to court, I wonder, I wonder whether he'd feel the same then. Well, he might, because after all, that was the man that sort of pushed his... Um, Push the group to uh, push those enthusiastic supporters to to argue for a hugging of Mike Pence. So maybe things will be different next time around. Who knows? But I'm interested to know what you think about uh, Assange being released. Uh, I certainly think it's about time. Don't think he should have ever been charged in the first place. Still open-minded a little bit about what, what he did, whether it was the right or wrong thing to do. Um, but there again, you know, like. How can we hold some of these secretive organisations like the CIA and ASIO and others to account unless you know we have people like Assange who find this information and are prepared to release it? So let me know what you think in the comments section below and remember to subscribe to my channel, ring the bell for further notifications and do whatever you can. Make a comment below perhaps to let me know what you think. I'll be most interested to read it. In the meantime, take care. Look after yourselves and more importantly, be safe.